what I'm going to do is show you how to use the read line function to read the user's input and store it as a string. Now in the Hello World program we saw the read line function being used to pause the program for the user's input. In this program we're going to use that for that purpose and also to read in the user's name. So just getting the title and the input output out of the way. And we're going to use CR the CRT class or unit um, to clear the screen again as well. And now we're just declaring a variable. And we're calling the variable name and then making it a string. I'll just put my begin and end. And we'll clear the screen. And then what we're going to do is request the user's input. So we're using the right right line. I'm just about to change that to to write actually, um, and I'll explain why in a second. So please change it to write. So please enter your name. Okay, double dot. And what I want to do is get the the cursor to flash after that point. So as when the user starts to type in his name, it doesn't come up. The name doesn't come up below the please enter your name actually comes up to the side. That's why I'm using right instead of right line. If I used right line, the cursor would flash below please enter your name and that's where his name would go in. But I just think it looks a wee bit better doing it that way. So I read line and the name, which we've already declared at the top and the variables as a string. And when the user types anything and then presses return, that input gets stored in the variable name. So then what we're doing here is we are doing another right line and we're saying welcome and then after that if you put a comma and type in name which is just a reference to the variable name again it will type in whatever the user had entered and then we're just typing in read line to pause the program before it ends to give the chance to see what the result is ok so we'll just give that a run one second compiles ok and we're running it. So ask it for the user's name, just type in Gerard and it comes up welcome Gerard. Okay, and that's how you would read an input in from the user and store it as a string.